I did the damage, I'll take the fall My stupid habits, it's all their fault But I apologize, I'm gonna do it one more time I know the danger, I wanna change It's human nature, making mistakes And I welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is monica and today i'm finally doing an updated bedroom slash beauty room tour if you missed my last beauty room tour i'll throw that up in the cards for you to check out but since then i've actually switched some furniture out i've really rearranged a lot of things and i've changed a lot of the storage in my actual vanity area so just for the sake of time i'm gonna go through everything that i currently have set up in the beauty portion of my room i'm not gonna go in depth and talk about like every product because i know that would actually take hours <laughs> and this is going to be a long enough video as it is so before we jump into the video don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like kind of like beauty room tours bedroom tours and if you haven't already and you like to I hope you consider subscribing and hitting the little bell icon so you're notified whenever i post a new video every monday through friday so like i said before this is going to be a long video so let's just jump in so just for a little bit of reference i've got my desk and my vanity and the majority of my makeup collection in this corner right here by the door if i pan over this way i have a little bit more beauty storage right there that's my bedside table, and here's my bed. This is what you see in the background of most of my videos. I have my bed right here, it came from Ikea. I've got some pillows. On the wall, I have a Mac bag, a Sephora shopping bag, and then a Sephora cloth bag that I got for being rouge last Christmas. And those just all hang up on the wall with the string lights. I have the light over here, and then on this table over here, I just keep some books, some that I've already read, some that I need to get to with the little Pikachu. My brother got me that, and I thought that was really cute. So we have all that right there. If we turn this way, you see the beginnings of my book collection. And then over here, I have a really cute little, like, bench that I'm proud of. On the bottom, I kind of have some old books, some candles, some magazines. On top, this is actually just like a fluffy, <laughs> like, bathroom towel that I have on top of the bench. I have some dried out roses right there on top. I have a cactus over here. I have two makeup books here. I have Making Faces by Kevin Aquan, and then I have the Bobbi Brown Makeup Manual, just right over there. On top, I have a shopping bag from Blue Mercury, which is another makeup brand. I have a waving Japanese cat over there. It's actually activated by sunlight, so whenever it's sunny, the cat will actually wave at you. I have a candle right here along with my favorite snow globe with three skeletons. It actually plays a really creepy song and I love it. And then over here I have a creepy skeleton clock that my boyfriend actually got me last Christmas. So that's all right there by the front window and then if you turn this way you see more books and then this is the part of my room that's changed the most. There used to be a gigantic wood dresser here which really closed off the space I, it was too tall for me. I couldn't really do anything, couldn't really display anything. But now I have this really, really nice white shelving kind of cube thing, and I got it from Target. So let's just quickly go through everything that I have in this corner. So let's start from the top. I have a light up here that I don't really use. It's kind of old, so I don't really use it too much. I just have like a little scarf hanging from it. I've got a plaid M. I love black and white, if you can't tell. Most of those things are black and white. This is a mirror right here, just so I can kind of see what I'm doing in the mornings. And in here, I keep most of my hair care, along with a little skull and a little Hannibal Lecter. I really like Hannibal Lecter. So in here, I keep all my bobby pins, my uh, scrunchies, my hair ties, all in there. This is an apple cider vinegar rinse, so it's about 10% vinegar, apple cider vinegar, to water. This is the... Diva Curl Archangel Gel, I like to use that in my hair. I also like to use the Curl Keeper Ultimate Hold with Frizz Control Gel. This is actually a room spray. This is just a stress relief spray I got from Bath & Body Works. 
This is just water. I normally wouldn't label it, but these two spray bottles look exactly the same. And I wanted to know which one was which without having to like open it up and smell it. And then this is just a small bottle of the Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel. I also have a bottle of this in my shower. These are just some fake flowers with some fragrance. I got this from Pier 1. I don't really like it too much, but it was a gift. So I'm going to use it until all the fragrance runs out. Speaking of fragrance, right here I have the box that my Burberry perfume came in. It was a birthday gift last year, and it's a very expensive, very nice perfume. I have the actual perfume right here. It's like half gone. I really save it for special occasions because I don't want to run through it too far, like too fast. So I tend to use it like for interviews or when I'm going to like special parties, special events. So I tend to use this more around like the holiday time. Moving closer to like this little blue shelf right here, I have some kind of sentimental makeup items in there. One being the Chantecaille Feature Skin Gel Foundation that I've totally used up. I also have my Boudoir Eyes eyeshadow palette, the first palette that I ever bought. It's up here for display. I also have the first highlighter that I bought from Too Faced. This is the Candlelight Glow in Rosy Glow. And then I do have a totally used up Hourglass Powder just because I absolutely love this packaging and I was so proud of myself that I actually used it up. I also have a little bottle of the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. I love how this smells. Like, it's the best smell ever. So I've been kind of rationing myself on this because I don't want to buy a full size. It's way too expensive. And then I just have, like, this cute little lucky cat that my uncle got me when he went to Asia last year. Very cute. Down on the bottom, I have the Sentimental MAC palette that my boyfriend and I made when we went to MAC. I think it was last year. We actually sat in the store and we picked out all the shades together. So this is like my custom MAC palette. Up at my top shelf, I kind of have like the boring uh, hygiene supplies other than like a picture of myself too. I don't know why that's there. But I have like a body spray. This is the, the Japanese cherry blossom spray from Bath and Body Works. I have my favorite perfume. This is the Haiku perfume that you can buy from Avon. I have my deodorant and then I have a dry shampoo. Moving down to the second shelf of the unit, on this side I just have a, another Sephora bag because I just always have Sephora bags. I have a really old camera that used to actually be like a functioning camera back in the 70s. It belonged to my grandpa. I have no idea how to make it work or if it still works, but I like to have it on display. And then down here is actually a... It's like a paper display kind of thing that my uncle got me in Malaysia, but I'm really afraid of like breaking it, trying to put it together. So I've just kept it like in the packaging. In the next unit, I have all of my mini lipsticks. If you missed my mini lipstick collection video, I will throw that up in the cards. I go through every single one of these lipsticks in that video. And then behind it, I just have a really cute little lunchbox. And it's like a woman in Tokyo, and it's got like cute little paintings of Tokyo, and I love it. In the last one, I haven't actually finished like decorating this one yet, but I have my jar of Cafe Butello, which is coffee, and it's empty, and I just keep like spare change in it, like pennies, nickels, dimes, and then once it's full, I empty it out. The last time I emptied it out, I actually had like $36 in it, so that's pretty good. Then I have a cute little skull. If you haven't figured it out by now, I love skulls. I love Halloween. I love dark. I love black and white. That's just kind of my aesthetic. Now, the rest of these drawers just have, like, my clothes. Like, I kind of have, like, my socks and underwear in that one. I have all my PJs in this one. I have, like, all of my uh, yoga pants, sweatpants in this one. Workout clothes are in that one. That one is kind of miscellaneous stuff. And then this one has all of my shorts and uh, leggings and all that other stuff. Everything else gets hung up in, or not in my closet because I don't actually have a closet, but it gets hung out outside of that doorway right over there. Now, getting into this little organizer right here. I tend to change it around a lot because I like having everything organized. So we're gonna quickly go through just drawer by drawer and I'll show you what I have in there. The bottom drawer are all of my makeup backups. I also did a video all about my makeup backup drawer. I'll throw that up in the cards. Again, I go through everything in that drawer in that video. This is kind of a miscellaneous drawer. I like to keep packaging of new items that I've bought in here, just in case, because you never know. Um, these are the boxes from Emily's two new palettes. And then I actually just threw a brush in here, because since I've gone curly, and I've been doing the curly girl method, I actually haven't really been brushing my hair outside of the shower. So I never really use it anymore. <laughs> This drawer keeps all of my backup makeup wipes. I do need to restock. And then I keep my Sigma brush cleaning mitt right there. 
This next drawer is also kind of a mix. I have a bottle of lotion back here, a backup deodorant, some more lotion. I have a backup of my Excedrin. I do get migraines fairly often and this Excedrin migraine is like the only thing that helps so I always keep a backup of it. I keep all of my fragrance samples right here to try them out. And then in the back, I like to keep all of my hand sanitizer. I am a loyal hand sanitizer user, and I have to have one like in every bag that I own. Another kind of miscellaneous drawer, I've got some Q-tips. These are empty Z palettes right here. I've got some backup razors, some little cotton pads, and a uh, that's kind of like a knockoff of the color sweep from Sephora that you use to clean your brushes off. This drawer has all of my nail care in it and then some kind of face care stuff. These are my face razors. These are my eyebrow supplies. I have some random nail polishes. I have a nail kit. These are my clippers. Some more nail polishes and some fake nails in the back. The next two drawers are all about hair care. So I keep my Diva Curl diffuser in this one. And then I have a bunch of just hair supplies. I have a backup of the Curl Keeper gel. I have a Diva Curl styling cream that's almost empty. I have a whole bunch of minis of the Melt Into Moisture that I use for deep conditioning. I have some little samples of like shampoo and conditioner that I'm not sure I'm really gonna get to since I've been following the Curly Girl method. I've got a little bottle of Olaplex back there in the back. And then I have some dry shampoos that again, I don't like, since I've gone curly, I don't like the spray dry shampoos anymore. The only one that I've actually used and like is that foam one from Way. So this drawer just has all of my little clips for when I dry my hair. I've got my collapsible diffuser right here. And then another bag of just hair ties, bows, scrunchies. I have some shower caps that I use when I deep condition because I'll put my deep conditioner in, put the shower cap on, and then I'll put my hot head heat cap on top of it. I also have a nice comb and then a sock bun. <laughs> the top two drawers are both skincare. So this one kind of has all of like my mini cleansers, some face masks. I've got some moisturizers and then like a first aid cream. Then the top one has all of my backup vitamin C serums. I've got a lactic acid serum. I've got some Lush samples. I have some minis from Caudalie, from a Drunk Elephant. I've got something from The Ordinary right there. I've got some sunscreen and then some more moisturizers and face washes. Right, and on top, I like to have something on display just to kind of bring the drawers together and kind of match it to the rest of the furniture in my room. So I actually have two of these boxes you can see in the back. I've got the equality box back there and then this is the reds bundle both from Jeffree Star. In this little candle container I keep all of my ColourPop lippies and then in the container over here I have all of my wet and wild mega last liquid cat suits. I keep some of my favorite palettes out here on display. I've got the blood sugar, I've got the thirsty palette, and then I also have the Lila palette and the sunset palette both from Natasha Denona. So that's everything in this part of the room. Moving on to this side of the room. So this is also like an old bookshelf that I just kind of turned into another makeup storage unit. Over here I have a coffee mug that I got as a gift from an old co-worker that says good morning pumpkin. I love it. <laughs> and then I have a little jar of karma cream from Lush. That's my favorite lotion literally of all time. In here I have all of my lip glosses. I've been trying to wear lip gloss more often so I like having it just right out here so I can kind of grab it and go. Next to the lip glosses, I have these two cute little skulls down here. They're actually like tiny little tequila bottles that my boyfriend got me. So once we finish the tequila, we wash them out, dry them, and now they're just like really cute little display pieces. These two mugs right here are actually both from the Taylor the last time she did her 15 days of foundation series. I love supporting Project Beauty Share and I love supporting the Taylor. So I did pick up both of those along with two t-shirts and a sweatshirt during her last run. And in here, I just like to keep some big makeup brushes that don't really fit in my other makeup brush case that I'll show you in a little bit. And I just like the way that it looks overall. It looks really cute just like on display like that. And then over here, I kind of have just like a little wheelie thing. I mainly use this to store all of my sponges. So these are all my clean sponges up here so I can grab it and then do my makeup right here at my vanity. 
Up here I have my two cat ear headbands so that when I do my makeup I can just throw my hair up. And then up here I have some kind of random uh, skincare face care samples. I've got some argan oil. I've got a cream from Tatcha right here, a face wash from Tatcha. I have a face serum that I want to try when I run out of my rosehip oil. And then I have my favorite acne mask. That's the Saturn mask from Sunday Riley. So that's everything on the top. Down here, I like to display some of my other favorite palettes and all of my bigger lip products. These are all of my ABH palettes that I love. I've got Narvina, Soft Glam, Subculture, and Modern Renaissance. I just like how they all look together like that. I have some lip products here. I have my favorite Kylie Green lipstick. This is the Fenty Lip Stunna Red Paint. I have some from Jeffree Star. This is Weirdo, the black one. And I've got a couple other random lip products here. And then in the back, I have my Sigma brush case from when I bought my first full Sigma set of brushes. One shelf down, I have all of my ColourPop bullet lipsticks down here. I have quite a few of them. I don't reach for them that often, but I like the way that they look on display and I need to reach for them a little bit more. Behind that, I have a sign that says, I drink coffee for your protection. Love it, it's black and white, it's about coffee, it's about me. <laughs> Over here, I keep all of my face masks. Let me pull them out. So I keep my cat ear headbands in here. Let's move those. But then I just keep all of my sheet masks because I love sheet masks so much. I've got some from e.l.f. I've got some from a Tony Moly. I've got some other random ones. I like to pick them up whenever I see them. And then over here in the cup, I keep all of my dirty sponges and then my sponge cleanser just so I can keep them separate. And then once that gets full, I will wash all of my sponges. Down here in the bottom is mostly storage. I have like a whole bunch of headbands and little flower things in here. And then I keep all of my face towels here when they're clean. And then I pick one at a time to use it. And then when I use it, I wash them. Now that we've gone through that whole shelf, let's move to the actual vanity area. Okay, so let's start from left to right. Right over here, I have one of the lights that I use whenever I film. It's just an LED panel I got off of Amazon. This is my light up makeup mirror. I love it. It is getting a bit old though, and it doesn't, like, the mirror doesn't turn as good as it used to. I might have to either get it fixed or get a new one. This shelf here in the back holds the majority of my makeup brushes and everyday go-to tools. I have my Cinema Secrets makeup brush cleanser and then my Snowball mic and cord right there with easy reach. Behind it I have all of my makeup brushes. I like to put them in these little containers like full of rice just so that they stick up and I can kind of see everything and know where everything is. I have a backup Max Fizz Plus right there. This one is where I actually keep all of my big makeup brushes. Yeah, so those are all of my big everyday brushes, and then I can just kind of close that up. Put it back up here. I also keep my setting sprays right there, my lotion, and then in that mason jar in the back. I keep some fans, because I like to fan myself off after I use my setting spray. I keep some nail care items, and then I have my little Jeffree Star hand mirror just because sometimes it's easier to work with a hand mirror than it is with the mirror that I have with the light. Of course, I have my ring light right up here. It's actually now connected via Velcro to the actual shelf, which makes my life a hell of a lot easier. <laughs> and then down here, I have some other palettes, so... Inside this cute little bag, I actually have a whole bunch of Wet n Wild products. I am planning to do a full face in Wet n Wild, so I am trying to like pick up um, enough to do a full face, and then when I get all my products together, they all go in this bag for the video. Here's where I keep my Pan That palette for 2018, just within good reaching distance. And then over here, I like to keep all the palettes that I'm reaching for, like, really often. So I have my MAC Semi Sweet Times 9 palette right here, because I do want to get a little bit more use out of that. I have the NYX Ultimate Brights palette that I've been testing out, and honestly, I'm not really impressed with it. I'm, I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt and keep testing it out, but so far, I don't really like the greens or that yellow, which is kind of what I was most looking forward to in this palette. 
I did just pick up this new ColourPop palette and I'm actually really excited about it. I've only used it once so far so I am going to test it out and then do a video on a couple of looks. Next I have my Tarte Clay Play Original palette. Still love this thing. Two pieces. Oh, just such a great palette. Next, I have the Emily Edit Needs palette from Makeup Revolution. I have been testing the face powders out in here a lot. I tested out the bronzer, the blush, and the highlight. I don't know if you can tell, but my highlight came with like a weird film on it. It still works fine and it swatches good, but it just looks a lot different than I guess the photos showed. Next, I have my Lorac Pro Original palette. I've been using this a lot just to use the black shade right over here as my liner. I've been loving it like that. Ooh, last but not least, I have my Z palette with all of my go-to face powders as of late. So I've got my butter bronzer right over here. The one in the middle is the Kevin Aquan sculpting powder. In the top left is the Hot Mama Bahama bronzer from The Balm. In the bottom right is the Sexy Mama translucent powder from The Balm. And then up here is a kind of glowy powder from Physicians Formula that I really don't like. I've been testing it out for a bit. I just really don't like how it looks on my skin. This is a double-sided Z palette, so on the other side I have some highlighters. These are all from Wet n Wild. I have that top one is Mary Luminizer, and then that bottom one is actually a highlight from Kevin Aquan. Okay, now moving on to the actual makeup storage. Up top here, I kind of have just like a little glass container kind of thing, I don't know what to call this, that just has kind of some odds and ends. I have a face mask, I have my Catrice setting spray, I have a nail polish, I have my cuticle remover, just whatever I'm reaching for the most, I tend to put up there. Down here, I have a drawer of products that I still have not tested out yet. I have two jelly shadows from ColourPop and their clear brow gel. These are all of my Bite Size Review mini products that I'm currently working through. Over here, I keep my everyday makeup primers. So this entire bottom part is like my everyday makeup basket. So these are all my primers. These are also new products that I have not tried out yet. These are concealers and my eyelash curler. These are all of my go-to brow and lash products. I have primers, I have brow powders, I have brow... I have brow pomades, I have clear brow gels, I have tinted brow gels, and I have mascaras. Down here, I keep all the foundations I'm using for the month. Next step down are all the powders I'm using for the month. And then down here is where I keep whatever project pan I'm currently working on. This is what's left of my uh, Drop 5 by Fall project pan. In between my two like acrylic sets, I do keep a couple of random things. This is the new um, this is the new Tutti Frutti Do You foundation from Too Faced. I just picked it up and I've only worn it once, but I'm still testing it out and I will do a full video on it. I currently have the shade Porcelain. Next up, I have my Fenty matte foundation out here just because I literally only have a little bit left in the bottle and I have to store it upside down just to get the rest of it down here so I can actually get it out of the bottle. Behind that, I have just some pure acetone that I got from Sally Beauty. Up here, I have more of my mini lipstick collection. And then down here, we get into the thick of my makeup collection. Here, I have some more setting sprays. Here, I have a bunch of lip products. So I have lip moisturizers, loops, <laughs> lip moisturizers, lip scrubs, and a whole bunch of lip liners. Down here, I have all of my primers. I have quite a few primers. Okay, next are all of my lashes. I have some from Velour, some from Sephora, a lot of Ardell's. Let me pull this one out. So this one has all of my like backup mascaras that I need to try out. And I don't know how I ended up with a free better than sex mascara. I hate this mascara, <laughs> but I don't want to like open it up and use it. I need to declutter that. I need to do a huge declutter, just <laughs> putting that out there. I have some single shadows. These are from Geek Chic Cosmetics. These are all super shocks from ColourPop. Uh, this is another Geek Chic Cosmetics one right up there in front. And then I have some shadow sticks from Laura Mercier. They're actually really nice for traveling, but I won't reach for them like all too often. 
this next drawer is a little bit interesting. So I have a whole bunch of like eyeliners up here. I've got some liquid eyeliners, a lot of pencil eyeliners. I've got some brow products over here. I've got some clear brow gels, tinted brow gels, some pencils. Then I have some pomades down here. These are two dip brows from ABH in different colors. One's black, one's dark brown. I have some pot liners. This is the yellow liner from Kylie Cosmetics. This is a black liner from e.l.f. This is a black liner from NYX. This is a black liner from Pretty Vulgar. And then this is a black liner from Natasha Denona. Quite a lot. Okay, so down to the bottom part of this acrylic organizer, I keep all of my concealers in these two drawers. I try to keep them organized by like higher end and drugstore, but they tend to get mixed up a little bit. So theoretically, this should be the drugstore side and this should be the higher end side. This next one's the fun drawer. It's the glitter drawer and all the liquid shadow drawer. So I have all of my Stila Glitter Inglows over here on this side. I have my Kylie liquid shadows. I have my ColourPop liquid shadows. I have liquid shadows from Wet n Wild. I have some glitter liners from Urban Decay. I have some e.l.f. liquid shadows. I have some e.l.f. liquid liners. Like <laughs> anything that's got glitter or shimmer or anything, it's in here. And then my last drawer down here just has my makeup removing wipes, I keep some q-tips, and then I keep my Vera Mona color switch from Sephora. So let's look through just really quickly all of my Alex drawers. I do have one Alex 5 drawer. Alright, my battery just died, but we're back. So this top drawer are all of my foundations. They're not really in any order. I have a few of them, like LA Girl, Maybelline, Wet n Wild. Uh, these are from CoverGirl. Uh, I've got the Dior Air Flash. I really want to bring this back out for fall. I love this one. I just, I just bought these um, darkening drops from Catrice just to darken some foundations that don't match me. And so far, they're actually working really well. I really like them. I also have the Blah ColourPop foundation over here. I haven't decluttered it yet. I have the Milani concealer. No. The Milani foundation that I actually really like. Uh, the Makeup Forever HD. Back here I have some BB cream, some Misha. I got some of those. I've got my full Chantecaille foundation. Um, and then these are some backups. I have a backup of the Estee Lauder Double Wear because I love it. And then I have a backup of the Ordinary Serum foundation. Back here I just keep some random tools. I've got my tweezers, some <laughs> a glue stick, uh, some tape if I ever want to do like a dramatic eye look, and then a pencil sharpener. This next drawer is kind of a hodgepodge of face powders, pressed and loose, and some blushes and bronzers. <laughs> so these are some pressed face powders that I have, some from Milani. I got a NYX banana powder. I've got an e.l.f. tone correcting powder and then some little samples down there. This is a big Laura Mercier poof. I've got loose powders here. This is the, which one are you? Oh, this is the Beauty Bakery powder. I've got a cover effects. This is the Rimmel. Got the Milani. And then I also have the Ben, not Ben, I, Jesus. I also have the Cody Air spun back there. I have two blush palettes. I have the Milani blush palette and then I have the ABH blush palette down there. I like both of them. They're really cute. Over here, I have like just my normal blushes. This is from Milani. I've got Natasha Denona Blush and Glow Little Mini. I've got, I actually don't like this one as much. It's a butter blush. It barely shows up on my skin. Ugh. Got a flower blush pot, ABH blush. I got a Mac and Patrick Star blush set. What are you? A Milani blush. Got some Wet n Wild. I got my little mini benefits over here. This is a pretty vulgar blush. It's actually really pretty. This is a loose blush that I got from Geek Chic Cosmetics. I love it. It's called Let Them Eat Cake. And it's got this really pretty picture of Marie Antoinette in the front. And then back here I have all of like my bronzers. Then I have a couple of palettes. So I've got like the Take Home the Bronze. I've got a mini benefit bronzer. Elf bronzer. Some CoverGirl palettes. My favorite Smashbox palette, the Smashbox Ablaze palette, um, a Makeup Geek bronzer, and a couple of the ones back there. So that's everything in there. 
The third drawer is where we get a bit excessive. <laughs> I have a thing for highlighters. The majority of these are highlighters. <laughs> so let's see, I've got a Fenty highlight over here. I've got a whole bunch of these little mini Becca ones. Becca, Becca, Becca. I got some Elf. Got an ABH glow kit up here in the front. Got a MAC highlight. Makeup Geek highlight. This is the Kylie palette from her Weather Collection. I've got the really pretty Too Faced highlight. Ha, oh, that's just gorgeous. Okay, I have more highlights in the back, but they're kind of back in the back of the drawer. I've got like an Ofer one. I've got one from Geek Chic too. And then over here, I've got some palettes. This is the Natural Face palette. I've got some glow kits from ABH. I've got the Sun Dipped. I've got the Dream. The Sugar one is on the bottom, and then I've got a contour kit. The last two drawers are just all of my eyeshadow palettes. So if you wanted to see my full collection, I just did a whole big declutter video. I'll throw that up in the cards. So I'm just going to show you just how I keep everything organized now. And then these are just all of my smaller ones. And that's it. That's my entire, like, well, that's the majority of my room and my makeup collection. I hope you guys liked it. I didn't want to go into too much detail about all of the furniture, but if you guys have any questions about where I got any of it, just leave me a comment and I'll, can, I can either let you know what it is or link it for you down below. The majority of all of this came from either Ikea or Home Goods. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope if you liked it, you'll give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!